Hey my loves, so it is currently really late actually. It is like 9.30 at night. I have some time to kill. I did my makeup all party like for filming today and yeah, Tyler fell asleep. And I was trying to think of some good wholesome things to kill some time and I thought why not sit down and talk to you guys about more scary stories because my Halloween like special edition scary story video wound up bringing in so many new subscribers. So hi to all of you who have found me through that. I cannot believe how quickly that video wound up spreading around. I know a lot of people like to get their pants scared off. So today I thought I would kind of sit down and talk about my scariest paranormal experience ever. And I will quickly say, ever since filming that video, really weird stuff has been happening here. For me personally, I feel like when I acknowledge paranormal stuff, it always winds up getting worse. And even though nothing had really happened in this house up until this point, really weird stuff has been going on. Nothing major, I'll go ahead and tell you guys. It's been like little knocks on the door. Um, at one point, like there was a knock on the, my bedroom door the other night that I could not explain for the life of me. Last night, actually, a bunch of clothes in my closet wound up moving, and there was the glitch in my paranormal story time video that no one could figure out. My eye went like, the video froze and my eye went red for a second. And at that point, I really didn't feel good in the house. The scariest thing, it like gives me goosebumps to even think about. I don't understand what it is, but yeah, some weird stuff has been happening. So I thought, why not just invite more of it by telling you the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. Apparently I'm an idiot who will just do whatever because I love you. All right, so this would have happened at my best friend at the time's house when I was like 17. This is my junior year of high school. At the time we were really, really, really close. We were super good friends and I would spend almost every single weekend at her house. She came over to my house a few times. I think I said in my original para paranormal, I can't talk, story time video, what wound up happening to her when she came over to my house. She didn't come over a lot because there was a very negative energy at my home at the time. And it wasn't like, us being kids, you know what I mean? Like we weren't making it up. It was very, very solidified stuff that happened. Like one time I left the room and my TV started going nuts when I left. Like it was really bizarre and my parents wound up blaming it on the electrical outlets or something, but the TV like changed channels and it changed it all the way up and it changed it all the way down. And like other than that, my cable box was flipping channels too and it was completely plugged into a different socket. And all of the electronics in that area started losing it the minute that I left the room. Like after that, my TV actually was never the same. It was almost like it was fried. Like there wasn't even a storm when that happened. It was the weirdest thing. It would always play subtitles. They weren't like creepy, I'm gonna kill you subtitles. It was like subtitles that didn't make sense and they had nothing to do with what was actually happening on the screen. It was just a jumble of letters and there was never a rhyme or reason. So that happened when she was over one, one time. Um, and then another time she came over, we went for a walk. It's going to be walked past this, past this field. I'm getting so many goosebumps, you guys. I get so scared. I'm such a little baby. Um, but basically we walked past this field of goats and the minute that we walked by them, we heard this scream and it was me, her, and this other girl. And the other girl is going to be a huge component of this. So my best friend and I, and then another of our really good friends, and this girl was a senior. Um, we were all taking a walk one day. We walked by, the, by this goat field. We hear this blood curdling scream. I could hear the sound of metal hitting something, but it wasn't metal hitting metal. It was like a dull sound. It was, it was loud, but it was dull. And the only thing I can compare to it is like the same sound I've heard when someone is like chopping down a tree or something like that. So we heard this blood curdling scream and we heard that noise and we kind of were like, we should probably turn, like we were really freaked out. So we turned around and we walked back to my house and um, when we walked by, the goats were losing their shit, dude. Like they were losing it. And they actually, like one of them, my friend was walking closest to the gate, my best friend at the time who always had this weird stuff happen to her at my house. And the goat like headbutted the fence like really hard when she walked by. And it was so, so, so weird. I'm sure that they were freaked out by whatever it was, but always like so many weird things would happen to her. I know I'm already like seven minutes into this video and I haven't even talked about my scariest story ever, but those were just things that would happen when she would come over to my house. So she didn't come over a lot. I would always come to her house and she was very in tune with her spiritual side. Like she could sense things. She could see things that like I couldn't, you know what I mean? Like she didn't really talk about it very much. And her dad was really in tune with it too. Like he, they, their entire family just really like kind of could see things and could sense things that most people couldn't. And I won't get too into that, but yeah, their house was mega, 
mega haunted, a million times worse than mine was, but it wasn't threatening. It never felt negative. Like when she would come to my house, it felt negative and it felt worse when she was there. But when I was at her house, it was very playful. It was stuff like we would be in the living room watching a movie. I remember this one time we had like a viewing party for the first paranormal activity um, for Halloween one year at her house and no one was in her little brother's room and lights kept going off in his room, like toys were going off, and like we all kind of ignored it because frankly, anyone who had been to her house had experienced stuff like this, but this was one of the most chilling experiences in my entire life, still not the scariest, but you could hear, like the lights were going off, you could hear toys going off, and you could hear the wheels of the toys moving across the floor, like someone was in there playing with them. It was so, so creepy, but again, not threatening. It didn't feel bad, you know what I mean? So a lot of stuff like that kind of happened at her house. But this one friend who was there with us, and she was there that same day when um, we heard like the ax hitting the tree, whatever that noise was, and someone screaming, and the goats went crazy. She was there that day, and I feel like she was very sensitive to this kind of stuff. And the thing is, I haven't really talked to her about uploading this. Obviously, I'm not going to mention her name. So if she watches this, then, you know, like we never really talked about it. It was just a thing that happened and no one knew how to talk about it from there. You know what I mean? So it was just, it was always kind of the elephant in the room. She'd been acting really weird for several days. I feel like she probably dug up some things on her own because one time she came to my house and like wanted to have a seance for what was it, whatever was in my house. Like we filmed it, like... All this kind of stuff so she was already sort of interested in this sort of stuff really into it so I feel like she may have like dug up something on her own I don't know what this was actually really shortly after she tried to have the seance in my house uh, we both did clearly but nothing really happened to me I feel like something was following her if that makes any sense because at random points during the day it was like she would become a different person and she would speak in this voice and it was like this really scary like deep voice and it was like at school and stuff and it was just so out of character for her she was the sweetest girl in the entire world she still is it didn't sound like her clearly like we didn't know if it was a joke like we weren't sure what it was and then one day like i remember we were talking about it and she was kind of like I feel, we called it her paranormal activity voice because again, that was what was really popular then. She was like, I feel like I can't really control myself when I go in and out of that. And I was like, that's really, really, really creepy. But I didn't really take it seriously. I kind of thought she was joking and I thought she was trying to play a trick on me. But we were all at my best friend's house, the one that was super haunted one night for a sleepover. It was like the day after some holiday. We were all over at her house. So basically we were all over there and everything was totally fine. And my friend was kind of going in and out of that creepy voice. And we were kind of like, this is so weird. Like, are you okay? But like, we didn't want to say anything. We didn't want to offend her. We didn't want to freak her out. I'm sorry, I'm actually starting to feel really weird. Like, I'm not even like particularly scared, but I just feel really strange. I may need to take a break from filming. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. I'm normally not like, I get freaked out when I'm talking about this kind of stuff, but I just... There was like a really heavy feeling in here and I don't know what it was, but I feel okay now. Um, I just needed to take a few minutes. Maybe it's just because I'm talking about so much and jumping to so many different experiences. It just, it felt really heavy and really like weird in here for a minute and I just, I needed a second. I have my dog and my cat in here now so they can protect me from anything. We'll call my best friend B and we'll call the other friend, the one who kept um, doing the creepy thing so I thought was trying to trick me. We'll call her T. And basically T was kind of going in and out like it was it literally was so weird It was like she would become a different person It was almost like she just would have a different personality and it it wasn't like her and I had known her for a really long time And she just never been like this. It was like she would talk in this really dark voice and like she would say really weird things and like nothing mean nothing like scary or anything, just like really weird stuff that didn't make sense, you know what I mean? I remember at one point when she talked, and I will never forget how this sounds, I can't for the life of me explain this to another person, I've tried to. When she spoke at one point, it sounded to me like the paranormal activity voice and her voice were coming out at the same time, and I know that that can sound nuts, I know some of you are already clicking out of the video because you're like, okay, this is what this is leading up to, 100% fake. It was what I heard, and maybe I was confusing things, maybe I was getting tired, it was really late when we were um, kind of like ending our festivities and stuff like that, so yeah, like it was just... It was really, really late in the night and that was when that happened and she said that and I looked at her and I was like, what did you just say? Like, I wanted her to repeat herself. I don't remember what she said, but I wanted her to repeat herself and I wanted to hear it again to make sure I wasn't hearing something. 
And at that point, she went over to her car keys. We weren't like drinking alcohol or anything for the record. We were pretty straight kids. Like we didn't, we didn't do anything aside from like eat sugar that night most likely. So she, I remember, went and grabbed her car keys off the counter and she took them to the bathroom. I don't know how to tell you the energy that was in the room when she left. Like I looked at my best friend, I looked over at B and I was like, do we need to like go in the bathroom? And she like, she walked to the bathroom and she was like, um, hey, you know, are, are you okay? Like basically like she was trying to keep her cool. And T was like, I'll be out in a minute. Like, like in the most sing-songy, creepy ass voice you have ever heard. And I was just like, cool, so this is how I die. Like great, awesome, whatever. Eventually, of course, she did come out and I don't remember what happened between that. I was just like talking to my friend and I was like, do you think something's actually wrong? And she, again, is very in tune. And up until this point, she was like, no, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. And at this point she was like, I don't know. Something just felt bad, like something felt like it was something bad was going to happen. That was the feeling in the room, you know what I mean? Finally, her friend came out of the bathroom, T came out of the bathroom, and she hadn't said anything. She just came out of the bathroom and she was completely silent. We were kind of like staring at her. We were like, is she gonna like say anything? Like, we weren't sure what was going on. We weren't sure if this was a joke. We weren't, you know, we didn't know. So she walks out of the bathroom and doesn't even look at us, doesn't acknowledge our existence, sits down on the couch, lays down facing away from us, and like maybe a minute passes where we're just standing there like, okay, what, <laughs> do we say something? And after that minute, she suddenly like looks over her shoulder. So we're here, here she is sleeping on the couch and she looks over at us and she's like, okay, love you. We didn't even say anything, we just stared at her and she's like, goodbye. And then she like rolled back over and faced the couch and she fell asleep. Like she closed her eyes and she didn't make another sound. So we were sitting there in the living room like, we didn't even know, we like, we didn't know what to do. <laughs> we honestly, at this point, both of us were so skeptical. Both of us were kind of like, is she trying to play a joke? And this just wasn't this girl's personality. I remember at the time, um, <laughs> we watched Twilight. I don't necessarily know um, if it was out on DVD or not, but um, at the time we were watching Twilight in the living room and my friend B, my best friend was like, okay, well I'm gonna go to bed. And like, she had a really small bed, so I know I can't like climb into bed with her. Um, so I was just like, okay, <laughs> I guess I'll sleep out here and like T was on the other couch so I was on the couch across the room from her and I was really freaked out to fall asleep in the same room as her but I knew she was out cold and she had been for a while so I basically watched Twilight until I felt like I was starting to get drowsy and I fell asleep you know my eyes finally closed I fell asleep I woke up and I kid you not like this is the like shit nightmares are made of I woke up and T was standing over me staring down at me I screamed so loudly that it scared her. I don't think she was expecting me to scream. I don't know what she was doing. And she kind of like jumped, like she looked really startled that I had screamed. What are you doing? And she was like, oh, I just, I woke up. I was, are, are you asleep? Yeah, I was asleep. But she seemed totally normal now. Like there wasn't any weird voice. Like she seemed 100% normal. In fact, she seemed like she was really confused. Like she didn't seem like she knew what had happened before that. And that was the scariest paranormal experience I ever had because I can't explain to you half of the stuff that I saw slash heard that night. Um, just a really weird energy. Like I said, the whole two voices coming out of her like mouth thing was probably the scariest thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. And yeah, I feel a lot better now that I'm not telling that story anymore. I'm really sorry. Like I'm not one to like freak out when I tell scary stories. In fact, I love paranormal stuff. I love hearing about it. Um, I even enjoy like recounting my personal experiences and I'm not really scared of much, but there was like a weird energy in here and I don't know if I was psyching myself out or what, but I feel good now. I feel good. I've told you guys my scariest story ever. So I want to know from you guys, what was your scariest paranormal experience ever? Are you watching this at two in the morning? Because if so, I'm really sorry. I love you guys so, so, so much. I love doing story time videos and paranormal experiences are just something I've had a lot of in my lifetime. So I just thought I would start sharing them with you guys. If you wanna hear other story time videos and stuff, I'll just start a playlist down below. And if you're watching this a little ways in the future, maybe there'll be more for you. But yeah, I hope you guys like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.